In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to manage customer issues, questions, or feature requests inside of Salesforce CRM. I'll explain how to add them to the system, how to manage them and resolve them as quickly as possible. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. If you need any help setting up Salesforce, check out my website below, we would be delighted to help. Otherwise, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see, I've just logged into Salesforce and we are on the home screen, the dashboards area of the Salesforce system. Now, in order to manage any customer issues, questions, feature requests that your clients may have about your product or service, what we wanna utilize is the cases area of Salesforce. Now, as you can see, this is up top on my navigation bar. However, you may not be able to see this at this very moment in time because it is not on your navigation bar. In order to see it, go to the pencil button on the far right hand side, click that, and as you can see, this is where we can edit our navigation. But what we wanna do is go to add more items, then on the left hand side, just go to all and search for cases. Now cases will appear, press the plus button just on the left hand side, and then it will be added to your navigation bar. From here, you can then go ahead and drag and drop to reposition it as you so wish, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Hopefully you've now got cases on your navigation area and just press the done button or the save button. So once you've done that, we then wanna head over to our cases area. Now, the first thing you are probably going to see is actually you have got the recently viewed view pinned. What I suggest doing is changing it to either my open cases or all open cases, select it and then just press the pin button. So every single time you come to the cases area, it will show you all of your open cases, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is give you an example of when we would use cases and I'll give you like a real life applicable example. I think this is probably the most beneficial way I can explain it. I have got a, a software, I, hypothetically, I sell a software um, and all, of course, all my clients use the software on a daily basis to manage their business. I've had a client email in today and they have emailed in and they have said that they are unable to upload a file to the software. Now, that sounds like a software issue. We need to report this as a case. So we create a case inside of Salesforce and then we need to manage it to ensure that we get this problem sorted for our client as quickly and effectively as we can. So I've had that email just come in. I'm gonna then come to the Salesforce system and press the new button. I firstly need to record the person that emailed in. So in this particular instance, I've emailed in. So Nick Boardman has emailed in um, and then, so you just search for the person and add them. If they don't exist, of course, you could add them as a new contact. And then you need to search for the account. So who is the account? Who are they related to? So in this instance, it's CRM crew. So that's the business and that is the individual that is emailing in. And then you've got this web email option. So this is just for reference. You could add the email address that they've emailed in at. So nick at crmcrew.co.uk. So this is just the basic information that we've collected because they've sent in an email. Now, once we've added that information, we can then go ahead and add some additional information. So firstly, we select the status as new. I would recommend leaving it as is, and I'll go into more detail on the status options later on in this video. They will make perfect sense. And then we can select the type. So is it a problem, a feature request, or a question? Now, I think this is a problem. It sounds like if he's unable to upload the file, it's definitely a problem. So let's select the problem option. Um, and he's clearly stated that in his email as well. We can then select the case origin. So did he email in, did he phone? Was it like live chat on the web, Facebook, Twitter? Did he DM? Whatever the case may be. In this particular instance, he has emailed in to let me know of the issue. And then we can select the case reason. Now, I, I always find this quite funny. Um, the case reason, the options that exist here are user didn't attend training, complex functionality, existing problem, instructions not clear, or new problem. Now, in this particular instance, it sounds like it's a new glitch with the system. So I would select new problem 
but maybe it's a really simple thing that you know that they're doing wrong, but because they never bothered to attend any training, they can't do it or they don't know how to do it. So like you've got these different options here. This is just, again, a good way of help, uh, like filtering in future if you ever need to. So I'm gonna select a new problem. Now we've got priority as our final option in the additional information area. So we've got critical, high, medium, or low. Now you could judge this on a few different factors. Maybe you judge it on the size of the client. So if we said that CRM crew is our top paying client, we wanna get this resolved ASAP to keep them happy. Then you would select critical maybe or high. Also, you could judge the priority and the severity of the issue. The whole system is down. That sounds like a bit of a problem. So we need to resolve that as quickly as we possibly can. So that would then again be critical. Or maybe it's just a question or like a feature request that they've asked for, then it's gonna be low. But let's just say, for example, it is critical. And then finally, we've got description information. So this is just information about this particular problem or this particular case. So the subject, in this instance, what I would do is I would use the subject and I would copy and paste it from the email and then the description would be their email body. So maybe they emailed in and the subject of the email was um, file upload issue. And then they just said, hi, um, I am having issues uploading the file to the system. Um, please, could someone assist? And that was just their email, thanks. So I would literally just copy and paste that. If it's a Facebook message, you don't need to put the subject, but I would copy and paste the message into the description area. And then we've got internal comments. So then I can write an internal comment. So it sounds like a glitch with the system may need to speak to dev team to dev team or let's say that i know that they never attended training i would write in internal comments they never went to training need to jump on a zoom call to explain how to use this particular feature so it's just a case of recording this sort of information which is really really useful when you're managing your cases so that new case has come up now just press the save button and lo and behold we've created a new case inside of our Salesforce system that we can manage with ease and then hopefully resolve as quickly as possible to keep our clients happy. Now on the left hand side, we've just got the basic case details. We've got the contact details and then we've got cases for parent contact. So these are any other cases relating to this particular contact. Okay, so it's just some basic information on the left here. Now you will notice we have got a process bar. Now this is to help manage each stage of the cases. We've got new and then once it goes into open, once essentially you are dealing with that case, I would move it to the open area and change the status to open. And then pending, maybe you are waiting for something, maybe it's been become a bit of a drawn out process um, to get this particular problem resolved, you might move it to pending. If it is then escalated to another level, let's say that you realize that this is an issue with the system and it's been escalated, you can mark that as current status. But ultimately we wanna go from open to closed as quickly as we possibly can. Now the reason we wanna do that is of course to keep our clients happy. And then once you've closed the case, you can mark that as status. Um, you can just mark as current status and then that case will be closed off. So this is a very, very useful way of managing the different stages of your case. Now I'm gonna leave it on escalated and I'll show you why in a moment. We also have some additional details. We've got the feed here where we can go ahead and write an email to that particular person or anyone else just in relation to this particular case. And you can manage it all from here. You can log a call. So let's say you had a call with them or send letter, send quote, etc. You can just log a call and then add comments regarding what you discussed. So I had a phone call to speak directly with Nick about specific issue. Uh, he said this, this and this, and then you could go ahead, of course, associate it with that particular contact and then just press the save button. And then that is part of your activity log here. So you can see that, oh, Nick had a phone call um, and this is what he said. It's just for especially very helpful if the case takes a while to manage or if there are multiple people managing each case. And um, we've also got posts as well, so you can share an update. So you can just post into this particular case to, to update other users of the system as to what's happening. Um, and you can also add to them. So at, at 
let's say Harry, for example, I've spoken with Nick about this problem, just so you keep people in the loop. Um, so that is an option for posting. We've also got details. So this will just show you all the details of the case that we entered in earlier. So case owner, who it's about, the account, and their email, additional information, and the, um, the uh, description and internal comments as well. So hopefully that is pretty clear explanation on how to manage and create a case. Um, on the right hand side, we've got the knowledge and related. So if you've got any knowledge information set up now, this is kind of like an internal Google inside of Salesforce. So let's say you have a common issue that always comes up. You can create a knowledge um, article and you can go ahead and search for it. And that explains how to solve that particular problem. But I'm kind of digressing a little bit. That's slightly different to what cases is all about. So if we head back to the main cases area, you will see all of the different cases that are currently open. But if we scroll down, you will see our escalated case. Now we can go ahead and click onto it and we can go ahead and manage that particular issue. Or what we can do is change our view. And this is from the display table to the Kanban. And then you can go ahead and summarize by status is what I would recommend doing. Press the save button. And then you've got all of the different stages of the cases. So you can then go ahead and drag and drop each stage or you can go ahead and drag and drop each case to a different stage. So this was the one that we just created. Let's say it's now been closed. So I know that that particular case has now been completed. You can manage it using the Kanban view if you would like to. And then finally, we've got the split view. And the split view is also just another way to manage each of your different cases. So you can click into each case, see what's going on. You can change the status, add emails, log calls, of course. And then realistically, like I've said multiple times in this video, you want to get to the point where you're closing the case as quickly as you possibly can and resolving the issue. So hopefully this video has explained what cases are and how to manage any client issues, problems, questions, feature requests that they are having with your product or service and how to manage them inside of Salesforce to resolve them as quickly as you can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in a moment. Hopefully you are now all set to begin managing any questions, issues, or feature requests your clients have inside of Salesforce CRM, and you can resolve them as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. And um, thank you ever so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.